It's Susan Davis with Prairie Girl Lifestyle. Hey, thanks for checking in and watching my video. I hope you're having a great day. Well, this tutorial is going to be a get ready with me, full face, getting ready for New Year's Eve. Going to do a smoky eye. But the first part of this video is going to be how to contour your face using a liquid foundation. Uh, being an aged lady, you know, mature lady, uh, I am going to show you how I lay down the liquid foundation on my face and contour. So, if you want to see how I do that, watch this video. So, I've curled my hair and I'm just letting that kind of uh, cool down and I'll fix it later. But the very first thing I always do before I apply my makeup is apply a primer. And I am using uh, Mary Kay's foundation primer. I am an independent beauty consultant for Mary Kay Cosmetics, so I do love their products. Um, however, you know, use whatever brand you want, whatever you have. Um, I always have my link down below to my Mary Kay website if you do want to purchase any of these products. So let's start with the primer. And the reason I like a primer is it lays down another barrier, another layer of moisture on my aging dry skin. And then when I go to apply my makeup, it just lays down a lot easier on this crepey thinner skin of mine. Okay, for foundation today, I'm using the Mary Kay Mineral Liquid Foundation. This is in the color beige too. I'm going to apply it with a brush. I like applying a liquid foundation with a brush. I find that it goes on my skin, uh, applies well, blends into my skin well. Sometimes it's hard to find a product that will lay down on older skin like this. And I do find that the Mary Kay foundation lies down on my skin just as well as any of the other brands I've used. I do avoid my eye area. I don't go up right underneath my eye because I'm finding as, uh, as I'm getting older that if I do get foundation in my eye, it, um, it just starts watering and hurts and stings. And then when I go to put my eyeshadow on, you know, I'm fighting that. It doesn't work. So I stay away from that area. Any leftover, I run it down my neck. You might notice that this color is really, you know, a um, little darker than my normal skin tone. But I like to go a little bit darker, especially if I'm going out on the town. Um, I just like to add color to my face. You know, as we age, we lose color. So if I can add it back in with my foundation and go a little darker than my actual color, I'm going to do it. You can see that my skin has a lot of red tones in it. So this foundation is a yellow based, you know, uh, really hides that red redness in my skin. So it goes on nice. And then ladies, the best advice I can give you is get a magnification mirror. I have a 10 time, 10 time magnification mirror down here that I'm going to be using. I always use to put my makeup on. I also have a smaller one that's a 3 time magnification and a normal. Because I don't know about you, but I'm sure you're like me. If you take your glasses off, you can't see to put your makeup on. So. You've got to have a magnification mirror, darlings. Yes, it works so well. I can look over here and see, you know, really get down and look and see, am I getting my uh, 
foundation applied well. Are there any patches that I've missed, streaks, that type of thing? Okay, so you'll notice that I did not put any foundation on my eye area. In fact, I'm going to take this sponge and wipe off any that I did get there because we're going to treat these eyes a little differently later on in the video. One thing I do do while I'm putting on my makeup is I put a lip mask on my lips. This is a Mary Kay lip mask and it just exfoliates my lips. So I'm going to put that on while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. It works really well and uh, really cleans my lips up so when I go to put on my lipstick my lips are smooth. Okay on to contouring and highlighting with liquid. I'm going to use this Mary Kay foundation in a darker color. This is bronze 6. Probably too dark really. It doesn't have to be this dark. I would say normally go one or two shades darker than your foundation but also I would say it doesn't really matter because you can blend these colors. So um, I'm going with this dark foundation color with a brush and I'm just going to go into that and run this first line of contouring right here below my cheek starting up here uh, starting here above my ear and going down like so and same on the other side and don't worry about getting things just perfect they don't have to be because we're going to blend this in and then I'm going to put it up here on the top of my forehead and then I'm going to run it along my jawline and any leftover I'll take it down my neck just a little ways because what we're trying to do here is create an illusion a shadow under our jawline because of our because as aging ladies if you're like me I've got sagging going on and my face is sagging and so if I can create an illusion that I actually have a jawline with this contouring then it's gonna look very nice and then also we're contouring our face here to create this shadow under our cheeks, give our face more dimension, and make a lovely picture. Okay, now we need to blend these colors, and I'm going to use this beauty sponge to do that. Uh, you could use a little sponge like this. Um, I don't know about a brush. You could, if that's all you had, your fingers, you could definitely do that. But look, I'm going to do this sponge, and I'm going to have to look over here in this mirror. And I'm going to stay right on top of this color. I'm not going all over the place because I want the color to stay right here. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're contouring. I'm going to stop there. Up here. Pat this. Just contouring the edges. You see, you're patting on the edges here just to blend everything. We're blending. Okay. And then over here, same thing. Stay right on that color. Take your time. Pat, blend.
Okay, so I'm going to stop right there because we're going to do some more blending with powder. Now I'm going to go with the lighter liquid foundation for highlighting. And this is uh, the Mary Kay liquid foundation again in Ivory 3. So that's going to be a lot lighter color to highlight our face. And we want to highlight, you know, where the natural sun would hit our face here, here, here. So I'm going to use a brush for this, another brush. And I'm going to apply this below my eyes and right in this area where the light would naturally hit. And I'm going to take it down my folds in my face here. And then here on my forehead where the light would hit. Down my nose. And really just down here on my chin too, this whole area. This whole area right here down the center of your face. Okay. Now we have the highlighting on. Now you can see, you know, the contouring and how that's affecting my face. Okay, so now we're going to finish the contour and highlighting with some powder foundation using a big fluffy brush. And I've got two different powders I'm going to use. This is the Mary Kay Mineral Face Powder. So it does have a color to it. And I am going to take that on my big fluffy, fluffy brush and just pat it over these areas of contouring where it's dark. Up here on my forehead. Okay, so then I'm taking a translucent powder. This is Mary Kay's translucent powder. So no color on a big fluffy brush and go over these areas that I've highlighted. Okay, there's our face contoured and highlighted. Okay, let's add some cheek color to finish the whole look. Okay, for cheek color today, I'm using a Mary Kay uh, cheek color called Cherry Blossom. This is a little darker than I would normally wear, but uh, I'm getting ready for New Year's Eve. I'm going out. It's going to be dark, lit. I can get away with more makeup, more of a dramatic look. So I'm going to apply this cheek color with a brush. And I'm going to pat that just above where I put that contouring here on my cheekbone. Very pretty color. Here on the other side. Blend down a little bit with that color. And then if I want to, I could take a fluffy brush like this and just go ahead and do a little more blending here on these colors on my cheeks. Get away, get uh, rid of any, you know, real harsh lines. Just blending everything. Okay, that's uh, highlighting and contouring using liquid foundation. I'll stop here with this video and I'll go to part two and show you how I do my eyes for this look. I'm getting ready to go out for New Year's Eve. I'm practicing my uh, eyeshadow look for tomorrow night. So if you want to see how that's done, then go to part two. Thanks. Bye.